just before this tutorial starts, I do want to mention that I've recently released Act 1 of a new horror game of mine called Mushi's Kitchen Reheated, which is a reboot to my Mushi's Kitchen game series. It is free and available on Itch.io now, so consider trying it out if you like. And anyways, let's continue on with the tutorial. Hey everyone, I'm Gunnix here and welcome back to a brand new Godot tutorial here on the channel. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add in a custom font into your Godot game. So let's say for example you have your text in your scene and you want to actually have a custom font for it. Well as I said before, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do that. So first off what we need to do of course is we need to actually get a custom font. One website I personally recommend for getting, for getting custom fonts is fonts.google.com. Now there are other sites out there of course, but this is a pretty good site which I recommend since there's so many fonts here. So the one which I'm going to be using is a font called Pacifico. Uh, this one right here. So when you do find the font that you want, you know, just go get font and then go download all and then you can download the font to your PC. So once you do download your font what you'll want to do is um, it will depending on where you download it from it might come as a zip file so if it does you know you just extract it onto your PC. I've already got mine extracted so I won't be doing that. So when you extract it you'll get your folder and then you'll have your font inside. So when you do get your font, what you'll want to do is you'll want to now drag it into your project, into your Godot project. I recommend creating like a fonts folder like with what I have. And then we just drag it in. And boom, so now we have our font in our project. So I'm just going to drag this into my fonts folder and there we go. So now what we're going to do is you want to make sure that you select your text in your scene. And then go down to theme overrides here. And then where it says fonts, you now want to go to where it says normal font, and then empty, click on that, and then go quick load, and then you'll see your list of fonts here. So I've only got one font, so I'm just going to select this, and boom. So now as you can see, the text is now in a custom font. Not only does this work for rich text labels, but it also works for buttons as well, or just anything else that contains text in Godot. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And yeah, see you all next time. Bye-bye.